Hello, and welcome back to the Think Tank. I'm Pastor Devin, and I'm so glad you decided to join us tonight. Uh, we're right into the middle of the Christmas season. I think today is the seventh I'm recording this, so we only have 18 days to, to Christmas. And actually, we have 19 days, so it's all over on the 26th. Now, I want to ask you a question. Imagine if we never had a Christmas. It's amazing. We go through this Christmas season. We love all the presents and, and the good cheer we have towards one another. We have more parties in any time of year. The most movies of all are, are Christmas movies and all these great things. But then as soon as it's over, it's what? Over. It's amazing how many people go back to work after Christmas and they're actually depressed. You know why they're depressed? Because the mood has changed, they miss Christmas, and, and they know they're going back to the same old, same old. Do you know what, as a Christian, you know what Jesus says? When you have Christ in your heart, you never have to go back to the same old, same old. It says in Isaiah that God always wants to do what? A new thing. He says over and over in the New Testament, He wants to give good gifts to you. He's a great Father, wants to do amazing things for you each and every day of your life. We can have Christmas every single day. Now, not like the world does. That would get old really fast. But God wants to do something new for yourself every day. You know what the secret to that is? It's found in 1 Corinthians 15, 31. That every single day you need to die to self so God can then resurrect you into what the amazing thing He can have for you for that day every single day. And how you do that by every day, starting out with the Word and with prayer. It doesn't matter how long it is, but do that because then you're sacrificing your time and saying, God, you really are first in my life. And all you're doing, you're telling God, you know, there might be a problem that happens that day, but you're letting Jesus know ahead of time you're trusting Him. You're letting Him take care of the problem before the problem even takes place in your life. Now, what a gift that is that God solves all of our problems before we even see them in our lives. God, God, God loves you so very much. So remember, Christmas is not one season. It's not just one day or a time period, but God wants to be in your life daily. So have a part of your life daily and tell someone around you this Christmas season that you can have this joy all the time. You can wake up every day with a smile on your face because you give your, a present to God yourself every day and then He blesses your life over and over again to its overflowing. Isn't that amazing? Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Remember, as always, that Jesus loves you, I love you, and you are awesome.